welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back, guys, to episode 11 of our Build It Better series. In this episode, we're going to be learning a little bit on how to design docks and marinas for your ships and your boats. Uh, it's been a little while since we've had an episode, almost like two months, I think, uh, since we've had a BIB normal series episode. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to, you know, get in here and teach you guys a little bit about how to get your ships a little more organized and giving them a nice home. Uh, so I'm going to walk around here for a minute and we're going to take a look at what I've done with my ships, uh, the carrier that you guys have seen in um, more recent videos. Uh, I've got an old favorite over here, the pirate ship. I uh, finally got that in the BIB world and got him docked over there. Uh, on the other side we have the uh, the submarine and the battleship. And I'm still working on my docks here, guys. I've just got the uh, the main areas laid out and just got a real good idea of where everything's going to go. And we'll just kind of pan around it, and you can see there's the train station. Uh, so this is going to be a you know pretty good uh, transportation hub here as far as uh, the water and then also the rail system. Uh, the naval base will probably go back in the back area through here. Uh, and then also all the way over here. So eventually, I'm planning on having a lot of this area build up pretty good to uh, substantiate all this, you know, naval traffic. So this will be kind of like the older area, like the pirate ships, um, smaller ships of the same uh, type, uh, wooden vessels. Uh, I'll probably put in another dock system down here for um, just smaller frigates and stuff like that. Uh, older style, of course. And then this will be the newer section over here with all the, uh, the military type boats that I'm hoping to plan uh, to build in the 2013 series uh, of the Build It Better episodes and also, you know, hopefully get some tutorials, uh, some different battleship designs that I'm thinking about, um, some more basic subs, and uh, I'm getting a lot of requests for this carrier, uh, so I'm <laughs> I might put one together, I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm getting a lot of requests for it. Uh, if I do, guys, it's it's probably going to take at least a month to get the, uh, the tutorial together, uh, so the those that are waiting for this, um, keep your fingers crossed, Jag might get one done for you. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump down here and look at some other shit. Alright, so we learned that organization, of course, like every build in Minecraft, is going to play a very important role on how everything is going to look and function together. Uh, so that's, that's really what we're learning about the marinas and your docks. It's not only a place to organize everything, it's going to be a really neat place to show off all your ships and all your boats in one organized neat area. The main area needs to look and it needs to feel and also function like a real shipping dock. That way it, it feels and it looks believable. Uh, you know, after all that, you know, that's the basis behind the series is getting your builds to not only look better, but feel like a life like area you could actually picture yourself visiting or walking through or seeing. All right. So on the note of organization, we need to learn when we have to plan for what you have and then plan for what you don't. You should already have a great idea in mind for your naval station or your marina or whatever you're going to be building. So the only thing that, on that note, that needs to be said is you need to have fucking water. Of course you need fucking water. But you want, seriously, you want enough water for your biggest ships. Even if you don't have them yet, you don't want to spend days or weeks on an area or even a month. And, and then two months later decide, hey, I want to add Jag's uh, kick-ass battleship and all I have is this little fucking pond and it don't fit. So always make sure that your area has plenty of water and uh, you've got room to expand if you want to make the uh, your more boats or add more to the your main transportation hub area and you want it to involve water obviously <laughs> alright so the next thing you want to focus on is the design itself like what features of the area are going to be needed is it going to be just a basic fishing marina and you got a lot of little small fishing boats or is it going to be a full-blown naval shipping base uh, if it's a basic marina, obviously all you're going to be needing for the design is going to be pretty easy. You're just going to need a few docks and a few piers uh, and maybe a main building, you know, to f put your fishing shit in or whatever the hell. Um, so as far as like a, you know, a small marina, should be fairly simple. You're just going to have docks and a couple piers and, like I said, maybe a building. This also applies to a, a main shipping station. Just make sure you like use Google search for some nice fishing docks and piers uh, just to get some ideas of what it actually looks like instead of trying to build something that you think you know what it looks like in your mind um, go and actually actually find some pictures and and get a really good idea of what they look like in real life because you'll be surprised that 
something that you thought looked a certain way doesn't really look that way. Um, you know, there's a couple things that I ran across that uh, pictures of real life things always, always help me. Uh, so I always go and I look, find something that I'm going to get ready to build, and then, you know, keep a picture up of it or save a couple pictures and then use that for reference guides. And also by doing that research, not just for a smaller marina, you also want to use that for your big shipping stations too. You know, be sure to look at buildings, warehouses, cranes uh, for loading and unloading, ways uh, for the ships uh, to get on the ship's different levels, the stairs, uh, you know, look at things like that. Some of your boats may be as easy as a drop plank just to get on it, while others, you know, like the carrier, need a, you know, a taller, more elaborate set of stairs. Mine are still a work in progress over here, guys. You know, just like a lot of things that I design, uh, the first design is not always the first and final design. Uh, these are probably going to change at least a half a dozen more times uh, until the point where, you know, I'm happy with it. The point there is simple. Unless you are very good or very lucky, your first design is going to get modified or just completely ripped the fuck down. Uh, my area, this whole area, has already been through about six different facelifts. So, um... Yeah, just keep that in mind. You're, you're not going to settle with the first design, and, it's, and it is going to change. All right, so you're ready to do some building. Let's take a look at some tips and tricks of the main parts that are going to make things go just a little bit smoother. Uh, the first and foremost is obviously your decking area. Uh, a lot of people will start right at the water level, and they'll just start placing blocks out from, you know, like your grass area like this. And that's fine for a simple pier or whatever. That'll work. Uh, actually in real life how many piers do you actually see that are sitting right at water level water washes up across it and it's just it's not going to be real believable so first and foremost I, I advise at least taking it up one block off of the water level uh, some of them I'd like to take up two levels that way you can put trim underneath it you can see over here on mine uh, I did some trim underneath it and, uh, and it just gives it a really nice finished look uh, some docks you'll want to see under. You want you know, to see the water actually flow underneath it. Other designs, uh, let me see if I've got some wool on me. Uh, let's use this. Uh, our floating designs. Uh, so you'll have, let's say, like, you know, floating containers in the water. And I'm just going to build this out here for a minute. Uh, and we're going to put the planks across the top. And we're going to put them just like this and your dock or your pier will actually sit on floating devices which is a pretty neat design uh, I don't need that here because this is more of a naval base station uh, but if you're using like I said a, a small marina uh, some of them float on like plastic tanks and shit that go underneath the dock and that's a, a really neat design uh, some of your docks will have holes through the middle and you can use like trap doors to fill this area in and give it kind of a, a different walking structure um, don't use bars I've tried bars the bad thing about the bars is, uh, I don't know about the Xbox version, but if you walk just right, you can actually fall through these things, and that's it, it doesn't work. And of course, <laughs> it's not fucking doing it right now, but don't use your bars. Uh, you can fill them with glass. Uh, you can put lighting under the docks. Uh, use glowstone and put up underneath there. It looks really cool. Uh, also, too, I'm going to show you how to fix this right here. Let me get the shit out of the way. Something you're going to run into... Uh, probably quite often is shit like this. You're going to be building and the water's going to get fucked up. Uh, to keep this from happening, always build your, your docks and your piers, like I said, above the water first. Any kind of planking or structures that's going to go down in the water, do those last. After you've done your main design and you're happy with everything, do this part last because... Uh, you know, if you do this first and you rip it out, you're going to have a lot of this bullshit over here that you're going to have to try to fix. If you do run across that, the easiest way to fix it is one block underneath where the water source gets fucked up and you can see it disappears. And then you can take out those blocks. So that's the easiest way to fix that. Uh, if you're out in a deep area, of course, you're going to have to build up from the bottom and get one layer uh, below the surface to fix the water. Uh, that can be a real pain in the ass if you're making a very a large dock and then you got to go back and rip out a shitload of it. If you have to take this out and move it, prepare for it first. You know, put your water block uh, in next to it, and then you know, uh, when you take this, you know, that one out, just make sure that you have this one here, not these two. My bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> just make sure you have one underneath. Um, we have uh, the logs on PC version now, uh, where we can turn them the other way. Uh, that's very helpful. This is actually the first time that I've I've found a use for this. 
Uh, and then also, too, while I'm down under here, uh, you can see I did, yes, I did finish the dock system out. I've got supports down at the bottom, and I've got uh, structures and supporting all the way through it. Uh, and a lot of you are saying, well, why? Nobody sees that shit. Uh, a lot of it has to do with my OCD, and a lot of it is just as practice. Uh, just to keep building and getting that experience of building something, and it gives it a finished look. Uh, you know, if somebody does fall in the water, they're like, oh, the dock's just fucking sitting there. It's not actually being held up. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and finish your docks out. Just make sure you get your, you know, everything done first, and then run everything down the water and work on your, uh, your support beams and your structures. Spacing. We're going to talk about spacing now. Uh, I like to use about a 10 block spacing between my lights. It looks good at nighttime and it, it keeps everything looking very even. And that's the other thing is you want to keep things looking even. I haven't worked in this yet and finished that out. Like I said, I've got a lot that I'm uh, still working on. But before you start building uh, you know, your, your piers or your docks, uh, figure out how you're going to get to them and then start using dirt and laying out your spacing. Whether you want to go 10 blocks or 15 blocks. 12 blocks somewhere around there usually works pretty good uh, pick an odd number of course I always use an odd number that way your spacing will always come out even uh, you know from your corners there you go 10 blocks you'll have nine pieces of fencing in between and uh, it just everything always comes out better when it's odd and and if you've been watching since the first uh, episode of the build it better seasons uh, season one or whatever we're gonna make this uh, you'll learn that spacing on the odd will always work out better for a lot of things, especially if you're putting in cranes. Um, if this was an even dock and I went to put the crane in, it would end up being too wide. And in my opinion, it's just, it looks very bulky and very shitty. Um, this is just a real quick design. Again, I worked on this probably about uh, six or seven different designs here in the middle, and this is what I come up with. With this texture pack, it kind, kind of blends out a little bit, especially from a distance. Uh, so this may not be done. I may come back to this and fix it and change it. Uh, just kind of make it stand out a little bit more. Uh, still looks pretty good. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. And then I've got another crane over there that I'm still working on. Uh, of course, this is a bigger ship, so it's going to need a bigger crane. And I'll fly down here and we'll take a look at that. Well, while we're flying down here, uh, remember to keep in mind uh, for connections. Uh, like later on, if I want to put some more piers in, I've got plenty of room down here for other, you know, if I happen to make another pirate ship, <laughs> it's going to go right here. I can just continue the, uh, the, uh, the piers out and then just continue them down. So that's, you know, like I said in the beginning of this, this particular episode, leave yourself space for expansion. And then also, too, I can come over here and connect into this one off of there if I want to put a big floating uh, building here in the middle for, you know, just the basic shipping and receiving. I've got area to, uh, plenty of space to do that. Um, eventually, I want to have some more stuff on the dock to kind of fill it up. Uh, I may actually bring a part of the docking out and put a building out here uh, that just handles, you know, the carrier stuff. Uh, I've got some shipping crates that I'm working on, and then I've got a big crane that... This thing's been through about, again, eight different designs. I'm still not 100% happy with it, uh, but it's not too bad. It's, it's getting there, and then a nice rail system so it can move back and forth. Uh, and then it's got a boom that can swing the loads over and uh, off the ship. And then it has one in the middle that just picks up uh, you know, the, the cargo here and moves it back and forth so that the big crane can maybe get a little more organ, uh, organized or just for smaller loads that get loaded on trucks or whatever. But... You know, whatever. Use your imagination. And here's the main stairs that I'm still working on. Uh, originally, I wanted to use the iron bars uh, right here where the uh, cobblestone is, but you, I, I'd fall through it, and it just, it looked good, but it just didn't, it didn't function well. Uh, the last stepping pieces before getting on your boat. A uh, nice thing to use is your trap doors. Uh, that way, it just, it doesn't feel like it's part of the boat. It feels like it's, you know, an extension of the boat to get on it. So there's a nice little building tip for you. Uh, and then, we, uh, we let's see, we've covered the lighting. Uh, you can use torches. Uh, glowstone under your docks, uh, I've used that in the past uh, in one of my older marinas. Um, it looks really good at nighttime. It lights up on the water. Uh, and then, like I said, see, I'm, I'm still working on finishing it out. Uh, but underneath, if you're using two different materials like I am, uh, either finish it out with a full plank or even a half plank. Uh, it just gives it a nice uh, finished look. And then we'll also hide the glowstone if you put glowstone behind that. Uh, as big as this dock is, I, m I may put some lighting underneath it. I haven't quite decided yet.
So basically a well-organized and even uh, spaced design. It'll really pop, especially if you look at it at nighttime like we are here. You can see the lighting is really nice. It's very even. Uh, it accents the ships really good. You can see it over here on the pirate ship. Uh, just because uh, of the spacing and I took time to lay everything out really good, uh, the lighting is very even. Over here you can see it's a little bit darker because I haven't finished that yet. Uh, and it just it really lights things up and it, and it accents things, especially at nighttime. You know, because obviously that's when you're using the fucking lights. Um, but yeah, take your time with the lighting and make sure it's it's nice and even. It will make a fucking difference. All right, we're going to go back to daytime really quick. And last but not least, again, take your time. All builds should never be rushed. D don't ever rush them. A rush design is a mush design. While building, uh, I actually, I, I talk to myself. It, it sounds weird, but I do. Uh, I ask myself, like, you know, how's this ship actually going to arrive and depart from the docking area? Uh, how's it going to be loaded or unloaded? Cranes or manually? Uh, where's it going to go once the, the cargo gets here? So uh, I'm going to have another dock out here that goes to a warehouse uh, so that when, you know, whatever brings it in, the rail system or the ships, it has a place to store it. So think about what kind of buildings uh, are going to be where and how they're going to be accessed to and from the ships. Uh, things like, is the dock actually wide enough for cargo, or is it just a way for people to walk uh, to get to and from the ships? Whatever the main purpose for wanting a dock or you know, for, for your boats or in the area, it's your main transportation hub. Give it a little extra love. This is the first area that someone's going to see you know, when they're arriving to your town uh, by boat. So first impressions are always very important. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for episode 11. And unless in future episode, I may add something in, in the build and decide that it needs to be addressed. Uh, or if there's something you guys would like to see in this area, uh, you want to learn about how to design or how to tackle it, leave it down there in the comment section like usual or anything else that you want to learn in Minecraft as far as, you know, like uh, the Build It Better, ser build it better series you guys want to see me make a video on. Uh, throw it down there in the comment section. I'll take a look at it if I get enough uh, requests for it or I feel it would be, a, you know, a, a good episode for people to learn on i'll go ahead and put one together for you and like always i appreciate you watching guys remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter and remember if it looks like shit tear it down blow it up or just build it better and we'll catch you guys on the next one later